Hello, I'm Phoenix City Councilwoman Kate Gallego. In today's edition of On The Go, we're at the Musical Instrument Museum. It's ranked as one of the top 20 museums in the entire United States and one of the most popular places to visit in the city of Phoenix. I'm here today with Colin Pearson, who's the curator of Asia, Oceania, and Middle East for the museum. Thank you so much for having us. Can you tell us a little bit about the museum and its collection? Certainly. We have a collection of almost 16,000 objects. Uh, that includes instruments and the various accessories that, that they come with. Um, but what really makes the collection special is that it includes every country in the world, um, which I don't think any other museum has even attempted to do. So that really makes the museum truly unique. We are so lucky to have this in Phoenix. I'm particularly excited for an exhibit that's coming up this November. Can you tell us what you're planning? Absolutely. So we have a very exciting partnership with uh, one of the national museums in China called the Hunan Museum. Um, and by partnering with them directly, we've been able to access their collection of an instruments and artworks from antiquity. It's been all the way back to their Neolithic period about 9,000 years ago all the way up to the 20th century and the, the collection is this incredible group of musical instruments that have actually been preserved and also really beautiful and, and exciting artworks that depict music and opera performances throughout China's history. So it's a really unique uh, opportunity for us and uh, a great challenge and a really it's really exciting for us to be able to share it with people here in the valley and, and hopefully the, all of the U.S. Is this an exhibit you'll be able to see anywhere else? It will not be available anywhere else. Um, this is the first time this collection has been displayed in the United States and it'll be here for six months and then we put it back in the crates and send it straight back to China. And you've spent a lot of time preparing for this exhibit. We, we have indeed. We've been working on a relationship with the Hunan Museum for the last three years. Um, and we've made several trips to visit the museum and, and collaborate with our colleagues, even to produce special multimedia that is exclusive to this collection. Um, even more exciting, we've entered into a uh, bilateral cultural exchange relationship. So once this exhibition is over, at some point we will then create our own exhibition from our own instruments and send that to their museum in China to be shared there. So it's a really excited, uh, exciting two-way relationship. We are so lucky that this is coming to our city. We do a lot of work with China. We have a robust sister city partnership with uh, Chengdu in China, as well as a lot of economic development and ties on the financial side, robust Chinese community. But this sounds like something that, even if you've never been to China, you'll really want to see. Absolutely. Uh, I think everyone will be able to appreciate it, uh, whether they love music or art or culture or history, or maybe they don't have the slightest clue about Chinese history. Um, they'll walk away with a real sense of appreciation and, and love for it. Excellent. Well, I will look forward to this November. While we're talking more generally about the museum, tell us a little bit about some of the performances that you can see here. Absolutely. So we have an absolutely gorgeous 300-seat theater right here at the museum, where we stage about 250 or 260 concerts per year. So there's always something exciting here and, and as the level of performances that they get here is incredible and there's truly not a bad seat in the house. Um, you can just check the website for the most current concert listings and there's bound to be something that's going to catch anybody's attention. Thank you so much, Colin, for this inside look at what's coming up. Now that we've learned a little bit about the museum generally, in our next segment, we're going to focus on the educational programming and the STEM programming at the Musical Instrument Museum. Welcome back. The Musical Instrument Museum has an extensive education program. I'm here with two of the experts, Katie Runyon and Brian Dredla, who are going to tell us a little bit about what the museum does. Katie, can you tell us about the gallery that we're located in? Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us here today. We are in the STEM gallery that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And the Musical Instrument Museum decided to create this space to accommodate um, a, a huge interest that we were seeing from both um, teachers, parents, but also also our school tour participants, um, to have a dedicated space to really explore the concepts of uh, science and music. Wonderful. 
we found it really exciting to be able to show our guests how there's a connection between science and an art form that they already uh, love and, and appreciate so much. So this space is, is designed to kind of give guests a, a new way to look at music and a new way to think about and hear music, uh, not only uh, while they're here at the museum, but also when they're hearing music in daily life. So we're really excited about that. Wonderful. What are some of the favorites among students who take field trips here? Oh gosh. Uh, well, uh, science related specifically, we have a huge octo bass downstairs in our orientation gallery, which is a, a giant uh, stringed instrument that is uh, so large that you can actually see strings vibrate just with the naked eye without needing to uh, actually slow anything down, which is something that we do here in the STEM gallery is we uh, have footage of instruments vibrating uh, shown in slow motion. So that's been uh, really popular to be able to show that kind of thing that you wouldn't necessarily be able to see. Um, but anything with how instruments work or how sound is produced, that, that uh, you know, getting to those questions as, as far as how something works or, or what's behind uh, something that we know, that's, that's what gets re kids really excited. Wonderful. And Brian, what else should we know about the museum's educational programs? Well, we offer a lot of uh, programs within our education department. We have an entire class series uh, called MIM Kids uh, that is a, a sequential uh, set of three classes that uh, are appropriate uh, for kids from birth up through uh, grade 12. Uh, we have Mini Music Makers. That's our uh, class for our youngest uh, children. That's um, the early childhood movement and music class. Then we have Musical Adventures, which is the, the next tier uh, in the series. Uh, where kids, uh, there's a geography focus and they learn about music from all over the world, they make instruments, uh, things like that. And then the final uh, class in that series is called Junior Museum Guides. That's for our older students. That teaches public speaking as well as leadership. Uh, and that culminates in a project where the students lead public tours here at MIM on one of our program weekends. Um, in addition to those class series, we have an entire range of uh, signature events that we do here at the museum that there's always things for uh, kids and families and, and uh, uh, educational opportunities for both kids through adults. So, Wonderful. A great way to learn about science as well as museum, museums and music. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fabulous. We've been very focused on the city about the economic impact of arts and how helping you develop that future workforce is wonderful. Thank you, Brian and Katie. It's been wonderful to learn about the educational programs at the museum. It sounds like there's a lot to do here on a field trip or just to bring your family, one of our top tourism locations. And thank you for all you're doing to support the arts and culture in the Phoenix area. It's been a real economic driver for us at the city of Phoenix, and we're so lucky to have the Musical Instrument Museum in our city. This has been On the Go with Kate Gallego. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact my office. Have a great day.